feels really big. Oh, jeebers. Look at the size of that thing. Holy cow. Holy cow, that is a giant. Well, good morning everyone and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Check out that sunrise, it is just incredible. We are on the Murray, we're searching for a big cod and I must admit, I'm going through a drought. This is the fourth day casting I've done and I haven't had a single bite. The last fish I got was a metery, and I'm working really hard to get one more bite before the season closes. We're getting to that stage where, you know, the environmental flows influence the river quite a bit, and the colder the water gets, the tougher the actually fishing gets as well. So, I'm gonna work hard, got some really good zones to fish. Let's go get into it. You're not going to believe it, but that there is a big cod tailing on the surface. What the hell? That is a big cod, it's tail poking out of the water. I've never ever seen that ever in my life. It's just like finning around on the surface. Is it? No. I mean, it looks like it. No, it's not. Looks like it though. There was a big cod. There was a big cod on the surface. Oh my God. Oh, you are kidding. It heard the lure and spooked. What? What? Oh, I've never ever seen that in my life. Never ever seen that in my life. Oh, it spooked at the lure. Oh my God, what? My whole body is just like covered in goosebumps. That is ridiculous. Oh, I should have chucked a surface lure at it. My God, I thought, it, I thought I knew it was a cod and then, ah, oh, what? Oh my God. Idiot. Do you think it would have eaten the crankbait though? Oh my God, the big cod tailing on the surface first thing in the morning. What? Well, my hands are absolutely trembling. That was a big cod tailing on the surface on the end of the snag. And as soon as he heard my lure, he just spooked at it. He just did not like it one little bit. I've never ever seen that before in my life. I've only ever sight cast two cod in the river ever and that was one of them and it didn't go very well 
That that is mental. I've never ever seen that a big cod tailing on the end of the snag like that. That's ridiculous. The one time I should have had a surface lure on, and that was it. I knew it straight away, and then like as it just kept waving, I was like, no, nah, it's just like a feather or something in the current. But no, it was its tail. You could see the white spot on the back of its tail. I knew it was a cod. That is just mental. It's really no telling whether it would have eaten the surface lure, but man, that's just craziness. It's funny, I've been looking at that snag, because it's right across from camp, and I knew there was a cod on there. Like, I didn't, didn't need to have my sounder on or anything like that, because you get a big old log in five meters of water on its own along the bank like that and it's just the prime piece of real estate there's always going to be a fish on there and there was tailing on the surface first thing in the morning but just giving that fish a rest um, and I'm going to go back up and just cast a tremor over the top of it and then probably a subsurface lure as well because I know he's there how cool would it be if he came out and exploded on the surface lure? Gonna break the drought in a big way, I reckon. Just keep, keep that lure in the zone. Came so close this morning. Got him. He's uh, 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 got me in the timber. Uh, uh, oh, it feels really big too. He's uh, got to get back on the other side of it. Oh. Uh, come on. How'd you come? Oh, he's got me in the timber. Oh no. I'll get him. I'll get him. This is why you gotta use heavy leader. Here he comes. He's come out. He's come out. Oh, feels really big. Oh jeebers. Look at the size of that thing. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is a giant. That is an absolute giant. All right. Come on. In you come. In you come. I've got him. I've got him. Sort of. God, he is just an absolute behemoth. And this is why. You work so hard, like I've cast for five days straight. Five days straight, and then that happens. Is that, that is just an absolute giant of a thing. Look at the size of that. Oh my God. <sighs> wow. 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 Look at the size of that. That's why I cast for that long. That is an absolute donkey. Oh my God. That is an absolute donkey. Oh, there you go. It actually chewed through the glove. 
That was just an epic, epic beast. Worked so, so hard for that fish. They just, they don't come easy. They're there, but they don't want to eat and you've just got to put in the time and you've got to get lucky. Like, as much as you can be good at fishing, you still need a large amount of luck for them to stuff up. But we got one, we did it. Absolutely just over the moon with that fish. That's just an incredible, incredible thing to be able to see that come out of the river. Amazing. You know, there's serious amounts of bait on the river when there's big packs of cormorants and pelicans all in a ball like that. So many. Well, that is me done and dusted for the day, all time day today. Um, very special to get to see things like that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. Leave us a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate you guys watching. I will catch you next time.